All right, Scott, let's buy some pips because we're going to war. All right, Steve, we checked out this fun little game. This is War Pips, and we're playing it on Steam. Now, this game is kind of sort of a, a tug of war of sorts, if I could explain kind of what's going on here. You jump into a map, and it's a very simple kind of concept. You have a base, they have a base, and you're both spawning units to walk through no man's land and eventually destroy the enemy base. That's the whole idea. It, it goes a little longer where you kind of go through a, a range of levels on your way through a campaign, but every scenario is kind of posed in the same manner. So that's basically the premise how this game works, but how did you find jumping into this one? Don't be too excited about the graphics because it's very retro and as we sort of mentioned before it kind of felt like when I was playing the old Commodore 64 it's very 8-bit kind of pixelated style mm -hmm. but one thing I will say it is addictive and don't get too cocky in this game either because it's not straightforward it's a lot of thinking and planning in this game yeah there's an actual interesting amount of strategy to this it is kind of a simple concept you begin every map by choosing what units you want to bring to that fight. So you can kind of try and be conservative with your forces and have a hard time at the beginning, but hopefully an easy payoff. Or you can just rush with your hardest, strongest units. But you spend them in that fight and you may have a while to go before you can recuperate them. So there is actually quite a lot of strategy to it. But that's kind of where the detail of this game falls off, because as you say, the graphics are quite dated. They're not hard to look at, but they're certainly not stretching my hardware uh, whatsoever. Now, that kind of brings me to my first real sticking point with this game, because I agree with you, it is addictive, and especially when you get on a roll, but the look of it is reminiscent of something I would have played on my phone um, perhaps 10 years ago. It's yeah. sort of just geared to a smartphone, it seems. But it is on Steam, we're playing this on PC, so it seems a little silly to me. I'm not sure why they yeah. went that direction, because it's not a super goofy look or something that would be stylized. And I'm not sure about you, but the audio was pretty forgettable um, in my experience. I don't really recall much of a backtrack going on at all. The, the games I actually played, there was more like rock music on some of my bits. Oh, okay. or be, yeah, there was like rock music and there was like, some of it was funky as well. And techno, I had some techno bits of music on, on that. But that sort of only sort of come into play is the, um, the wave bar at the bottom of the screen, which... Yeah. You have to keep an eye on because if it's green, then you just get very minimal amount of enemies coming approaching you. And then as it scrolls across and it starts going to yellow and then red, and then, then you're in trouble basically because there's a lot of times that I was at the other end and I was destroying whether it's the missile launcher or whatever they had, and all of a sudden it'll go red and then a swarm of soldiers will come out and they'll be heavily weapon weaponized. If I can yes. say, like, they'll have bazookas, and next thing they'll have vehicles as well that'll run you over and barge through your barricades and stuff like that. I have to say that I didn't like the intensity of the waves of when it was red, it was damn hard because all it did was just push you all the way back to your end again, yeah. and then they and all they're doing is just shooting up your base, so then it's game over. That is that is a little rough, and that that brings me to my second issue with this game. And once you get beyond the first island and into the second, just the way the campaign is structured, it becomes a lot harder. It's not as gradual as I would have expected. And when you get into these fights, you're met with enemy armor, vehicles, like you say, things that you may not even have access to yet. Artillery yeah. in the background that just keeps pounding away at your units there's there's things that were kind of just extra hard and i was turned away from that 
I was enjoying and very addictive to when I was on a roll and just yeah. continue steamrolling through the campaign, but I found that the wall of difficulty came up very sudden. Yeah. Just a quick question. How did you find the controls? Because I actually played mine with my controller. The different keys, there's only a few of them, just to scroll left and right on the screen to zoom in and out, and then yeah. to activate your defensive or offensive orders to your units. Yeah. But that was the extent of the controls. It's very basic, and I, I found it was very natural on the keyboard. So I think we've covered everything about war pips now. And obviously this is still early access, but on our experience, we're going we're gonna to give it a score. So what are you scoring war pips? Yeah, I feel comfortable scoring this one at its current state. And if they really do add lots of updates, well, maybe we'll check back in and see how those go. This game is simple, but it is addicting. There is actually a good, strong pull to the strategy for me, and I really did have a good time with it. But the appearance of the game is a serious issue for me because it's in the modern era and it seems quite dated. But that and the simplicity of the game can only go so far before it gets repetitive, which will have most players bouncing out pretty early. I'm mixed feelings with this one. I think it's quite a good game, but I'm with a 6.5 on this one. Nice. Basically, I'm exactly the same with you and everything you touched about, touched on about. The, um, the graphics, sort of, it was the downside. Like you said, you could have played it on anything, and this is PC, and, and the way things are going with better graphics and stuff like that, they could have improved them a little bit better. The wave levels, I think, was too diverse, basically. It was, some will be easier, and then it would just be virtually impossible and very frustrating after 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and on that as well, I'm, I'm gonna give this a six. War Pips is a very simple concept with deep strategy and addictive action. Unfortunately, repetitive levels leave more to be desired. <laughs>